Arctic, the circumpolar region of the north, it's necessary to travel by boat, as there are no roads in the frozen world around the North Pole. Cruise ships use small rubber boats, zodiacs, to access the islands and bays of this region. The ultimate experience. Glaciers flow directly into the Arctic Ocean. A strange and wonderful world of ice, snow, land and water. A primeval wilderness. This is one of the world's last great adventures. Due to the high altitude of the Arctic, the specially adapted and undemanding plants of the polar tundra must struggle for survival, especially as their vegetation period is severely limited. Suddenly, out of nowhere, a hunting lodge appears. The island of Spitsbergen owes its name to the jagged mountains of the west coast. Black, bare rock mountains and valleys with huge glaciers. These ice streams flow continuously, at the front of which their glacial tongues break loose into the polar sea, a process known as calving. Global warming is now affecting the Arctic. Here, there are walruses tightly crowded on the banks. On land, they appear to be clumsy, but in water, they're highly maneuverable. For communication within the group, they have a special repertoire of grunts, howls and screeches. Further north, pack ice. This is the land of the polar bear, the Arctic's most famous carnivore, a ruthless predator always in search of food. The signs of climate change are everywhere. The pack ice often becomes porous and the polar bears cannot cover the same areas as in former times. Now, the pack ice is denser. A harp seal flees from its ice flow in the Arctic Sea. But soon, a group of hungry polar bears hunt it down the cycle of nature. Polar bears have sensitive hearing and an excellent sense of smell. They are able to detect seals from up to a kilometer away. Humpback whales live in every ocean. However, in summer, the northern animals migrate to the North Sea, and those in the south travel to the South Polar Sea. Breeding takes place in tropical waters. Travelling the Arctic has always been one of those dream cruises. And in summer, the southerly islands are popular. Here there's tundra, a treeless landscape with tiny plants. Surrounded by the Arctic Ocean, 
with its floating ice flows that slowly join with existing ice sheets. Each trip ashore reveals something new. A place of rock and meltwater. And a reindeer startled by the ship. The growing season is short, and so seed production and blossoming takes place within just a few weeks. Today's ships plough through the polar waters, especially around Greenland and Spitsbergen. To see as much as possible, we make several trips ashore. A small number of flowers manage to withstand the inhospitable climate close to the North Pole. A colony of walruses has taken up residence here. Once there were thousands, each one trawling the seabed in search of food. But in the 18th century, whalers and sealers slaughtered them mercilessly for their ivory. At one time, most of the Earth's surface was below sea level. Sediment became sedimentary rock, which gradually rose up due to geological movement. Throughout the year, a colony of gulls nests in the craggy rocks of the cliffs. The cries of young gulls at feeding time has woken up a hungry arctic fox, who suddenly gains a healthy appetite for itself, but an unhealthy end for a gull or two. Stealthily and still half asleep, it creeps along the craggy rock wall. It discovers some eggs which it soon devours. From here, the icebergs that have broken off from the glaciers begin their journey south. Icebergs exist for up to three years. Large ones, up to 30 years, and are mostly white. As we have traveled a long way south, here the tundra is different and rises up the slopes of the coastal mountains. In this already warmer area, there is more life. The browsing reindeer are not afraid of people because they are never threatened by them. This kingdom of freezing cold is the largest wilderness on Earth and one of its last natural paradises.